come on i'm around i've not gone anywhere i was just busy at school that is all that's the main reason you know you've not been seeing you know videos on the channel but listen this time around i am trying to make it a time to give you one video at least a week yeah that will be the best option right but in today's video it's actually going to be one of the simplest video you ever see on this channel right because i'm going to take my time step by step and explain to you how you'll be able to create this kind of quotes effect using nothing but pixel lab right pixel lab that is a thing that we're going to use with our smartphone right here in our palm right so let's go into today's lesson and at the end of this lesson i'm going to show you something or i'm going to tell you something that you can actually leverage on to make money with this simple quote creation stuff right if that sounds interesting then hit that like button on the video and let's jump into it good so i'm going to delete everything right here or better still let me just start from a new background like this okay now we have our square size over here let me go ahead and delete this test as always and i'm going to change the background color to white so let's do that quickly i got my white over here selected it the next thing i'm going to do hmm, i have i'm supposed to add a shape but i'm not going to do that right now let me show you one thing first the first thing that you want to do before importing a shape is go to wherever you have your tweet that you want to use as a quote yes go to that particular place Take a screenshot of the tweet right so in this case i'm taking a screenshot of this and that's the one i'm going to use for the tutorial right so let me go back so having taken a screenshot of that particular tweet what i'm going to do is come to this hexagonal icon tap on it then i'll go to shapes right over here the shape is having a color of white and the background is white so you cannot see it unless the outline over here but that's not the case let's just change the color to anything let's say red after all the red is not going to affect anything so let's just put it that way now i am measuring the size of this in regards to the size of the screenshot i took as i took the screenshot i cropped part of the screenshot so that is what i'm doing over here i'm trying to make sure the size of this matches how my screenshot has been cropped okay so the one over here is okay right now what i'm going to do is i want to make the corners of this particular shape a little bit curved so i'll increase the radius a little bit let's say for yeah it's okay i'll tap on a check mark right after that and this is what we are having over here but listen we are not done right so we select this we go ahead we come to texture right make sure you are on a hexagonal tool come to texture then tap on the image icon over here then pick image from your gallery that you want to use right from the image icon then we select the screenshot we took and in this case i have my screenshot right here this is it so after i've imported it like this i'll tap on a check mark at the down here and this is how it is going to appear but listen this is not fully you know perfect as we expected so what we're going to do is we're just going to tap on a check mark right here then we come to edit right come to edit we are going to edit the shape so we pull push it or pull it closer together like this we tap on a check mark and voila this looks more perfect than the previous one guys it looks perfect right yeah definitely it, it actually looks perfect right so from here we just have to add some sugar to it Mm, yeah sugar yeah people add sugar to you know soup so let's also add sugar to the design right so we're going to import the image that we want to use behind it and after that we do some other things so i'm going to go to my gallery and here is my image that i will be using from here i have to crop the image to make it a square because our background i mean my working area is a square one so i have to make sure i have this one is to one aspect ratio in place after that i'll tap on this check mark then i can go ahead and use the relative size tool to make sure i make the image fit into the working area perfectly right after that i'll tap on a check mark again then i'll come to to back 
tap on it and this is what I have right now I'm going to lock the image then after this I can go ahead and add shadow to this particular you know effect over here right so I'm just I'm going to bring it down a little bit I don't want it to be on my face of course I want my face to be showing so I gotta leave my face to show right there Anyway, if you are enjoying the tutorial so far, go ahead hit that like button on the video. It means a lot to me, right? And also don't forget to hit that subscribe button because I got a lot of videos coming your way, both smartphone and, you know, PC, right? So just stay tuned. A lot of things are coming your way, right? So I'm going to add a shadow. Now, about the shadow, there are two ways. I mean, two ways to do this basically, right? So this is one way. One way. If you want your shadow to be kind of transparent like the one I did over here, all that you have to do is to tap on a plus sign over here then you play with this right so let's say i want to bring it down here okay i'm working with a transparent area so i'm bringing it down right here then i'll tap on okay then what i'm going to do is i'll play with the offset right here i want it to look you know more realistic and for the white offset i'm going to push it down like this then I increase the blur radius something like this and this looks good right it looks good that is the sugar we basically add now you might be asking what is another way that you can do it another way is what we have been doing for ages right you tap on a stickers right here you have this just don't tap on a check mark mm -hmm. I said do not tap over here right just tap an empty area in your working space like this then after that go back and tap on this can select it now you can go ahead now and change the color to black because we want to use black for our you know shadow then you reduce the size of it just by pulling this you know anchor point to whatever you want but let me just take off the shadow under the you know the first shadow we added let me take it off right so this is it without the shadow now i'm adding another shadow right here okay okay so the shadow has to be beneath this so let's push this to the area and now we can play with it the more let's have some fun over here guys you play with it you put it the way you want it and even you can slant it you can you can do whatever you want to do with this right it's just you having fun with this now quickly let me just tell you how you can potentially make money out of this right so you see these celebrities with some serious quotes on their twitter timeline and stuff like that guys don't sleep on it right if you do this right the right way you can make money out of it what you have to do is just simply pick some of their quotes and you probably get some of their favorite images I know you may not know their favorite one but you have to get some good images of them then design something like this you know share with them like let them know that this is what you are doing like you like their posts you like what they are doing on twitter twitter space then you show them what you've been able to do out of their twitter posts and stuff like that and if they like it some of them will even hire you to be working for them so this is a potential thing that you have to do to potentially make money out of it right it's just not guaranteed but you can potentially make the money out of it right so guys this is it for this video and i'm going to see you in the next video of course this is going to hear from Serene Art. and don't forget to hit that like button on this video and also don't forget to hit the subscribe button turn on notifications so that you get notified when another video drops right here peace